New at 6 o'clock, we're following up after the EPA proposes rules to get rid of lead pipes within a decade. NBC Montana's Michael Seneskoy checks in with the city of Bozeman on the progress they're making to remove lead pipes citywide. Here's the Bozeman water and sewer crew removing a lead pipe in a ditch. City staff say they made the decision in 2016 to remove the known lead service lines and there were around 170 lines throughout Bozeman. City staff added it was backbreaking work, but they're grateful to have start the work early to meet the EPA's requirements. We were very lucky in that aspect, but we still needed to go through and do a, a comprehensive inventory uh, now the EPA is requiring that and we got done about a year early. Here, a map shows houses in Bozeman highlighted in red where the water and sewer division detected potential lead services that needed to be removed. In some cases, water and sewer crews had to go into residents' homes to remove the lead pipes. But homeowners were understanding of the work that needed to be done. We're careful, we're courteous, we're professional and uh, the goal is the same, to get rid of the, the lead in the galvanized pipe so that they have a, a new copper pipe into their house. A large project like this costs between $800,000 to $1 million. There's more than 30 galvanized pipes containing lead that still need to be removed, and that will cost $250,000, and it could take around two years to finish what's left. The common lead service line water and sewer crews will find across Treasure State is this pipe called a gooseneck. The way this pipe is designed, it traps lead and it could bring negative impacts to local communities. For even this a small amount of lead, the EPA considers that total uh, lead service line. And so because of this lead gooseneck that we have to eliminate those lines. With the majority of the lead pipes removed throughout Bozeman, the city's drinking water faces no risk. But if water and sewer crews weren't on top of removing any lead service lines, there would be some risk. We actively treat the water to make it so that the lead doesn't leach into the water. And because of that, and, and a protective coating that's formed throughout time on, on the inside of the pipe, the, the risk is really low, and, but we still want to remove them right away. In Bozeman, Michael Santoscoy, NBC Montana. We posted more details on our website. Just scan the QR code on your screen right now or visit NBCMontana.com.